Hey guys, welcome back to a very exciting episode. Today we're gonna be doing a very big job. So me and Dylan, we're gonna be in his garage and we're gonna be install a rear diff lock into my Pajero. So it's currently unlocked, um, but yeah, I'll show you guys what we're gonna do. There's obviously two options. So either you go with an aftermarket or you buy a rear diff lock out of another Pajero and put it onto your car. So we're obviously going with option two. Uh, we'll dive into that a bit later, but anyway, you excited? Oh man, it's gonna yeah. be awesome. I think, right. we, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Last yeah, so we'll show you uh, how to do it and go step by step what we do, and hopefully we get it done. Anyway, let's get into it. Right guys, so first things first, make sure it's nice and safe. So what we've done is put the wheels under the car and then also a lot of jockeys. So as you can see, everything is nice and stable. So that's the first thing. And we're now gonna do, uh, working the drive shafts. Yeah, so yeah. We're gonna take on the world. Yeah, we gotta move. Speaking the truth. So when you want to remove the drive shaft, so what you got to do is there's a big bowl down there. Undo that one. Don't worry about these two. They don't really do anything. Um, and then just that one over there. And then you can just pull it up. So when you pull it up, you'll see it flex. And then you just push the CV through. And then it should look like that there. You go so when the cv is out now we can just drop it with the diff so yeah that's the plan stand <laughs> righto so next up is the tail shaft <laughs> right so that's the tail shaft right there now just gonna get all the bolts loose <laughs> yes very good all right, there you go. So just repeat the process until everything is out, and then we'll probably do this bar over here. All right, so that's all loose at the front. She's a loosey, loosey goosey mate. She's a loosey goosey. Loosey goosey mate. <laughs> and now we're just gonna do the two at the back, and then the diff and the drive shaft should fall straight out. And there we go. Strong man. Top rig, mate. Top rig. Patrol owner. Let's go, okay? Wait, I, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take one from the side to plug. Sure. Alright, definitely make sure that one there is disconnected. There you go. Perfect. And then, once everything is disconnected, you can then take it down. And definitely use the jack to support it. Right guys, so we just removed the whole diff with the drive shafts. Now it's very important, so I'll just show you on the diff itself, as you can see over there. That's the important number you gotta look at because when you buy the diff lock diff, you gotta make sure it's the right ratio, okay? So 3.917 is the ratio. And then if you look on this diff over here, There you go, so 3.917 and at the top it also says diff lock. So that's how you know that it's a diff lock version. Now what you buy with that one is the diff lock drive shaft. So we've got that at the back as well. Um, so you need them and then the air compressor. There you go, so a lot of people think that it's an electronic diff locker but it's actually air compressed. So 
that's the air compressor right there now basically how it works is that is positive and negative and then this one so essentially that is just going to build up pressure and then once the pump is on and it builds up enough pressure it basically disengages which means the locker should be engaged we're also going to put a fuse on just to make sure if everything goes pear shaped that we can just change the fuse instead of burning out the air compressor so yeah we're just gonna do some modifications and then i'll tell you what we've done we're also running what amp is this again uh, 10, amp. 10 amp 10 amp fuse and uh, we find this one makes the pump turns over a bit faster um so yeah happy days Right guys, so with the air compressor, it's uh, basically a bolt-on, straight bolt-on, just over there. So as you can see, it's just the two nuts at the back. Here we go. We are running a bit out of light. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. <laughs> Mentos. So, here you go. That's the wire right there. Make sure you get a very long wire, so this one is at least 10 meters and it's a 5 core. Um, so, yeah, like I said, we're running out of light, so what we're going to do now is just put the CVs into the diff over there. And there's the other CVs. So like I said, make sure you get diff lock CV drive shafts um, and not open diff because they won't work. So yeah, we're now just going to put it in and hope for the best, but yeah. I'll give you guys a bit of an update later. Two hours later. All right guys, moment of truth. It's jacked up in the air, so let's see if the wheel will spin. Tap that on. There you go. All right, spin the wheel, brother. Yes. Yeah, back. back. Yes. Woo. <laughs> well, freaking done. Well done, bud. Well done. Perfecto. Legend. All right, guys. The Pajero is finally locked. How good. All right, that's it for tonight. Right, guys, so as you guys can see, everything now works and I'm super stoked. Um, it definitely takes about a full day to do this job, so not very long at all. So now what I'll do is I'll just show you guys um, what we've now done to complete everything, just so you guys know exactly what to do as well. And then afterwards, I'll run uh, you through with the pricing. So yeah, let me quickly show you what we've done. So this is the diff breather line. So as you can see, it goes from the diff into the body. So this is only for the diff to breathe. Now, as you can see over here on the compressor, the short line is for sucking air and the other blue line is for pumping the air into the diff. So that's where it goes from the air compressor into the diff to make sure it locks up. And then you can also see the positive and the negative wire that is wired in uh, which will then go to the front of the car to the battery take the wire to the front of the car and it comes up here just behind the exhaust flange i would say just to make sure it doesn't get hot and then it just goes all along till it reaches the battery and as you can see we also used a fuse just to make sure the compressor doesn't burn out if something goes wrong the fuse will blow instead and it's also watertight so that is pretty good and that's a 10 amp fuse right in there so just connect it up to the battery and then take the other wire to the switch uh, through the firewall down there hopefully you can see it um, but that's the grommet where you can then put the wire through which will then go to the switch on the inside of the car so once the wire is then brought into the car so normally people can wire it there but keep in mind you have to take the whole dash apart just for that one so what i've done is removed my asc button because i don't really need it and as you can see that is my rear diff locker button right there so yeah very cool and i can engage it when the car is on or off 
that's engaged and that's disengaged so yeah very easy one way to also make sure everything is actually working or your air compressor is doing its job is when you engage the diff lock your um, compressor should be turning on so it goes brrrr, and when it stops that's when it should shut off because it has built up the pressure of the diff to then engage if it goes on off on off on off it means you've done your wiring wrong and you need to recheck it because it just needs to go on for the one time and it just needs to stay off it doesn't need to go on and off on and off all the time if that makes sense um, so let me show you what I mean by that so when I press the button there you go you can hear the air compressor and now it's silent so that means it's all engaged and when you turn it off you won't hear it but it will disengage <sighs> all right guys let's have a chat about costs shall we because I reckon all of you want to know how much it is to actually do this job whether it's expensive or not okay so let's start first things first you've got to buy a diff now I paid six hundred and fifty dollars for the diff plus ninety dollars freight to get it up to me here in Queensland so a total of seven forty just for the diff now the drive shafts were one fifty each so three hundred dollars the compressor was one hundred dollars and then you gotta buy all the small stuff alright so trailer cable $37, diffuse holder, you don't need it, but I recommend it, $12, split sleeve tubing, don't need it, but I recommend it if you want to make the wiring look a bit neater in the engine bay, that's $18, heat shrink, $9, oil, $40, so yeah, remember that as well, you've got to put the diff oil in, um, into the new diff, might as well just freshen everything up while you're at it. So that's a total of $1,256. So in my opinion, that's an absolute bargain. If you compare that to just an ARB locker, it's $1,286, right? So <laughs> it's already cheaper. Buying everything, putting it in yourself. It's also not a very hard job to do at all. It's just time consuming. Um, but it's very straightforward. I definitely recommend two people as well, you know, lifting up the diff and that sort of thing it can be tricky just being one person. If it's one person, it's going to take you at least a weekend for sure. Not to mention if you go in the aftermarket locker, you got to pay for the labor. The labor was like $800. That's not even including oil or the air compressor from ARB. So you're saving literally over a thousand bucks just by doing it this way. And there's only, I think, 140,000 Ks on this new diff, and it's flawless. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. The switch, I almost got the switch, that was like $30, right? So that brings us up to 1,286. That's literally the same amount as an ARB locker just by itself. So definitely well worth it guys, um, and by the way, I now have to get rid of my uh, diff, my original one, and the drive shaft, so if anyone is interested, you can buy them. I mean, ideally, worst case scenario, you'll probably be get $200 for your diff, and let's say another $200 for your drive shaft, so that's $400. So minus $400 of that $1,200, that's going to be like $800 and something dollars. You know, $856 and you have yourself a diff, a rear locker. Like, that is just awesome. So, well worth it to do, guys. By the way, Dylan is up for a challenge. If anyone in Brisbane area want to do this as well, but they don't want to do it themselves, give me an email, info at budget for lifecom or shoot me a message on Facebook and I can get in touch with Dylan and see if he's up for it and he can install this for you. Um, I mean, some of you aren't mechanically, you know, great at things and that's completely fine or you're a bit older and you're not keen for lifting things up or getting underneath the car. So I'm going to put it out there. If you guys want to, uh, you know, get us to install it for you, just let me know and we can do that for you. Next episode, probably I'll show you guys how it actually works now off-road what the difference is between an open diff and a lock to diff 
um, but essentially just going to make the car way more capable. Um, so I'm very excited to actually test it out, especially with the short per base sometimes when I get into a rut and it lifts the front wheel, uh, one of the back wheels actually just stops whereas the other wheel just spins but the traction control doesn't work that great for the rear tires. It mainly works for the front in my opinion. Um, so having that locked, you're going to have the poor man's locker in the front, they call it for the Pajeros, where the traction control is going to work at the front as a locker and you're going to have the rear lock. So essentially it's going to be twin locked somewhat. So very keen to test that out and show you guys how it's done. Thank you so much for watching guys and as always if you like this sort of content make sure to like subscribe on the channel. Uh, I'm very excited to share more Pajero content with you guys and um, I really appreciate you guys also subscribing. It is a free way to support the channel if you want to support that. Otherwise if you want other Pajero accessories make sure to jump on the website budget4x4life.com and you can grab yourself some Pajero goodies. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys and as always, big thanks, peace out and take care. See you later. Bye.